Hmm, I don't know if I should be doing this right now because I only have like 190 rupees here. I'll give it a shot though. Really? Dear me. Really? Now you're completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you. Am I correct in assuming this? <laughs> yup, that's fine. I love the second option. I'm completely not fine. It's like a double negative, yo. Alright, who do we got here? We got Pompey. That's not Pompey, I don't think. Uh, oh, Anton's not here, though. Oh, well. <laughs> I always love it when he's in, when that guy is in the auction, the Anton guy. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank you all, all you bargain-loving people, for joining us here this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin. Yes, and what do you suppose will pop out of... Oh, uh, man, I can't talk. Oh, dear me. I'm so excited that I can't stop sniffling. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Let's get to it. This evening's glorious auction item is... A joy pendant! Oh, my God. What? What's even the point now? 40 rupees? Are you kidding? Ah. Uh. No. No thanks. Do you wish to quit? Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, Argon. Fine. Time to run along now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I'm not sure, but I think that... Yeah, if you go back in now, it should reset the auction item. I'm not totally sure of that, but we'll find out here. Oh, there we go. It's a treasure chart! Oh, I hope this is the one I think it is, because there's, like, one that ca that starts at 60 rupees and one that starts at 5 rupees. Oh, yeah, 5 rupees. There we go. That's perfect for me, because I don't have that much rupees to spend here. Because you're probably going to need more than, like, your 200 rupee maximum in order to win most of these auctions. 8 rupees from Gummy. Yeah, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, and, like, uh, yeah... We're not going to let it stop at 8 rupees. That's chump change. So this isn't really too bad. Basically what I like to do is I kind of... You can press A to speed up your bidding bar down there. But it will go up on its own very slowly. So I kind of like to get up to around that point that it's at right now. 17 rupees. And then I just kind of like to let it go on its own. And throughout the auction, the uh, Zunari, the auction keeper up there. He's going to let you know like how much time is left he won't say exactly until like the very end he does say like at the end it's like oh only five seconds left and that's when you know you gotta gun it because basically the trick to winning this auction is um if you bid high enough like i think it has to be at least 20 rupees higher than the top bid then everyone will get like all dazed and confused they'll be like holy crap he's got so much money and then you're like uh you'll stun them for like a few seconds like five seconds or so and that would be maybe more than 5 seconds, maybe like 10 seconds. And then that should be enough to win if you time it just right. Man, Link, Link, Link looked all pissed off there, did you see that? Time is running out, dear friends. Don't worry. He still hasn't said the 5 second thing, so... I think when he says time is running out, there's still like 30 seconds left. Gossack. <laughs> what a name. These people have the weirdest names, like Gossack, Gummy. You know, Gossamer Ghouls. Oh, and of course, there's the esteemed Anton. He's all perky. Alright. Oh, I thought I'd bid there for a second. Garrickson. All these people's names start with, like, G. We got Gummy and Gossack and Garrickson. Crap. And Gummy really wants that treasure chart. What are any of you guys going to do with treasure charts? None of you even have a boat. Alright. Oh, man. I might have built that up too, too high. My first go there. Yeah, because I'm going to have to bid here for in a second. Huh. There isn't much time left. Man, that bidding bar is full down there. Oh, crap. 106 rupees. This is getting up high. Oh, here we go. Nine seconds. Rem okay, I can win this. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to bid 150 rupees. Let's do that. 150 rupees. Oh, oh dearest me. Incredible. The drama. Everyone is struck speechless, speechless at Argon's bid. This is nuts. That wall is bottomless. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to build up the, the bar really quick just to be absolutely sure that I can do this because I don't want to get sniped at the last second here. Come on. Come on. Come on. And sold. And win. <laughs> here ends the auction. That's perfect. Yes. Ah, uh, our treasure chart goes to Argon Matrix for the fabulous price of 150 rupees. Dear me, let me just say congratulations. Thanks, dude. Oh, man. This is Radical Yo, and I'm Funky Kong. 
Oh yeah, we know how treasure charts work, don't worry. My dear, how incredible. That such a youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid was a bidding machine right up to the end. But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, also for you not so lucky ones, let me say that thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. All oh, Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. <laughs> he was waving his arms in the air like he just didn't care. The key to winning the auction is to be right in the thick of all the bidding. Be aggressive, it's the only way. For example, try upping the bid by more than just a few rupees if you need pretty if you need you need pretty deep pockets, of course, but if you play it right, you can meet you may just, yeah, that's what we just did. Don't worry. Neat trick, huh? <laughs> I underestimated you. Uh, my magic is seriously empty here. That's not good. What time are we up to? I think I'm just going to end it off here, guys, because uh, that auction was pretty crazy, and we got a lot more to do on Windfall next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, even though it was kind of, was kind of a weird episode, especially since I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but thanks, everyone, for watching. And, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go for a little bit more here. What the hell? I guess I can show off the Song of Passing while I'm here. Because I'm going to need it to be daytime for some of this stuff around here. I think I'll just set this up for the next episode. The thing is, I don't know. I might be cutting this a little bit short here. Because I have no idea, like, how much I'm going to cut out and what's going on, but... Okay. Because basically the whole reason I wanted to come back here is, um... It's basically explicitly for you Nintendo Gallery fans out there, who to anyone who wants to do that. Which, it is kind of a fun side quest to do. I'll explain it later on in more thorough detail, I guess. But this is basically how you have to start it. Well, aside from opening the Nintendo Gallery itself, you have to talk to this guy. You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream has been creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities, and as long as near true action did... What did that say? I don't know. <laughs> Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you be perchance become my research assistant? Your what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love that second option. Good. Bye. Oh, -ho. really? Really and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm, but I must tell you, the path to an assistant must follow is not a simple one. You and your glazed eyes. I demand that whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. I will be quite. A ch it will be quite a challenge, I assure you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's just like Kaizo Wind Waker. Uh, absolutely. Let's take it on. Ha! You must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Argon, is it? Very well then, I shall issue three commands to you. <laughs> my first wish. On the dawn of the day you complete- <laughs> On the dawn of the day- Oh my god, Majora's Mask, you're crazy. Now that for my first command, a love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? <laughs> Do you eat it? Is a, is a collection of words of love, long unspoken and put in, r into written form. Somehow this is the town w there's somewhere in this town there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain that the object of the sadly one-sided affection is quite a quandary over the matter. I am in the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor, hoot hoot. However, I must fit- I must- I must have physical evidence, and thus, your first task is to snap a picture off of the individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you so hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task. With ease! Who is sending these mysterious love letters? We'll find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, with Link's beautiful face here right up in the camera. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night. Rock on. Continue playing, no thanks. Oh, that's one hell of a recording. <laughs> it wasn't that great. Dude, why is it all pixely? That's not good. Uh oh. Oh well.